Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today MQTT Mosquito Broker Part 6. How to monitor your Mosquito Broker using Grafana. So as you can see I got Grafana installed. It's installed on my Home Assistant. Uh, also I got installed uh, InfluxDB and Node-RED. So as you can see the most important information is on the top. So I can see how many clients is connected, how many messages was published or received. And also I got some graphs with uh, moving averages like this one for five minutes, 15 minutes. This one have one, one minute as well. So you can see how, how the average is changing in the time. This should be stable, but I just connect another bro another client, so it's changed. So okay, how we can do this? Basically, we can use Mosquito System Topics, which are once you pa once you subscribe to those topics, you can get this information. It's about forty seven of them. So to subscribe to the topics, I'm using Node-RED. So as you can see, all the topics are subscribed on separate nodes and then goes to mas message recent node. Why, I have to use, why you have to use this node? Because some of the topics are published only in certain, in cer certain uh, situation. For example, clients active. It's published only once. When the clients act, amount of clients active change, you set up 10 clients, you're building your home automation, for, exa for example, this value may never change or may change, but maybe next three months or a year. So this, you wouldn't get output from this, from this node. Uh, basically, you may get the output when you restart your broker or you restart your server, but that's not enough so basically using this node this node basically repeat the last message for you can set the amount of times i said five million because that's give me about 10 months of repeating so and it's repeating five seconds uh, every five seconds otherwise you will get gaps between the messages so it may look like this or may look like this for example 30 minutes it will have just dots this is better looking basically and better visual experience so okay next thing it's going to this message recent topic then goes to uh, influx db node so I got database called MQTT monitor on my database InfluxDB and every data point it's called the separate different name as the topic name. Then I create the flows uh, this piece it's for alerting. So basically you can get alerts via email you can possibly don't use the email, you can use maybe uh, Home Assistant nodes if you're using Home Assistant and get notification from Home Assistant instead of email. I use email because I prefer email. So how it's done? This node is configured so if it's less than two clients it will give true on the output one. Uh, if it's more than seven clients it will give the true on the output free and then if it's between this it will give output on number two so then i use change node to change the message payload to boolean value true and then this node to false so because i'm using the filter node for the emails basically the filter will filter only pass the same message once so 
you have to use this node as well because on this one give the true and then goes to back to normal state and try and then if again try to give you notification the filter wouldn't pass so once goes back to normal state you need to get false on the on the filter node then this node is a message configuration so if uh, goes to below normal i will get the message and then when goes back to normal i get the message as well and also the time when it happened so you got you got quite a lot of information in that message okay so i installed it on my home assistant because it was easier for me but you can easily install on separate raspberry pi for example and put all this what you need say node red influx db and grafana on that raspberry pi and get it separate fully working you don't have to use grafana you don't have to use influx db you can use just node red and get your dashboard i didn't do the dashboard because I prefer this way. Uh, if you use uh, InfluxDB uh, on Grafana, you can go back in time and have a look what was happening, say, three months ago and compare the values. I think this is a better solution, basically. Again, what I like to say as well, also if you want to use email node, it's not that simple to set up. Um, you need to go, go through certain steps to set up your Gmail account and then create a special password for the Node-RED application. So basically use this, uh, I will leave the link to this video, this guy explaining step by step how to do it. And you shouldn't have any problem to set up the um, Node-RED email node to make it work with your account, with your Gmail account. So um this this flow and the grafana dashboard will be available in zip file on my website so you can download it upload your flow to node red get it working and then you can once you got grafana you can uh, upload the grafana dashboard as well so it's ready to go so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, thank you for watching and see you in next video.